show you the books that Everett is reading for second grade. Um, I always approximate our kids' grades, so just take that with a grain of salt. So I'm gonna split these into two stacks and we'll get into it. All right, so here we have uh, the books that Everett is gonna be reading for the school year. He plows through books pretty quickly and some of them are thin and some of them are, are um, picture books, so um, just keep that in mind. So like I said in a previous video, if you've seen the other um, book videos, literature picks that I've done for 2019, 2020, um, all of my kids are reading the Keep the Lost Cities series. We have them on, audio, on Audible as well, and so my kids like to follow along. Um, Breezy does that to help her uh, gain fluency in reading uh, with her dyslexia, and Everett does it, does it sometimes, he goes back and forth, so, and he always uses the book when he uses the Audible. So, this is that. Um, actually, let's slide this out of the way. Uh, the one and only Ivan, he's pretty excited about this book. I like to show the font size so you kind of get a large font, not many paragraphs on the page, but easy read. He chose this book uh, from the series, the I Survive series. This is Hurricane Katrina, 2005. There's some illustrations, larger font, um, easy reader. He probably read this in an afternoon. Um, he really loved that Lorelei was reading um, The Count of Monte Cristo, and I found this great illustrated classics version of it. He really wanted to read it, but I thought finding something a little more on his level would be better <laughs> for him to grasp the story. He loved the movie as well. We watched the movie together. So here is Everett. Can you turn down the Minecraft, please? Because I'm recording a video. <laughs> so here is a look at the images. Looks like there's about an image per page, so I love this story so much. I'm, he's really excited about reading this book. Next, uh, for his, one of the saint books that he's reading is from uh, Mary uh, Windiat, is St. Thomas Aquinas, which um, when we get to the books that I'm reading uh, for this year, um, or what I'm t learning this year, because I have books that I'm reading and then stuff that I'm learning, um, I'm also reading that uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, which I talked about in the video because Lorelai's reading the same book. So here's the font size. There are some illustrations. I love reading about the saints. Here's another one. This was um, something different. He chose this. This is Saint John the Baptist, a voice crying out in the desert. And this is like a graphic novel. And he just was really excited about this. So the images are beautiful. I love, love the pictures, but um, yeah, he's pretty excited about this type of uh, story. It's different from what he usually reads, so here's that one. And in the next stack, and for those of you wondering, reading takes up a, a bunch of our homeschooling. This is how we learn, is by reading picture books, chapter books, nonfiction, fiction, whatever. So. This is why we have so many books, and we, um, any ones that we don't keep, we, we donate or we give away, and then we move on to more books. <laughs> um, we are minimalist, but with books, this is the way that we learn, so my, my goal is that we, we have two bookcases, which I'll show later um, in a different video. I, I'm not allowed to keep more than that, <laughs> so if it doesn't fit in the two bookcases, we have to downsize. So that's how I keep it minimal while still keeping a lot of books. So this one is a book of angels. And this is stories of angels in the Bible. And they're, they're told in kind of a story format. Ezekiel's story. So it's just, he's really excited. He's really into angels. He really loves St. Michael. That's what he was for Halloween. Um, that's probably what he'll choose as his patron saint for a confirmation. Most likely. <laughs> So there's some illustrations. Excellent book. Next one is Prince Martin and the Thieves. He did the first one on Audible, and then we got the second book, um, which is this one. It's a thinner chapter book, and it has uh, nine chapters. It has illustrations. So there's 
use that. This one is similar to the book that Breezy is reading, which hers is The Prophet, The Shepherd, and the Star. Everett is reading The Ark, The Reed, and The Fire Cloud. So this is the story of Noah. It's written by the same author, Jenny L. Cote, or Cody, I think it's Cody, I can't remember. Um, it's a larger chapter book. And let's see, he's on chapter 28 now. Um, I love these, I love the audible for it. Um, the Scottish dog <laughs> accent is in there, it's so cute. If I were reading it aloud, I would sound ridiculous, but um, these make great read-alouds, honestly. And they're Christian, they're great, great series. Next, we have The Dangerous Book for Boys. And so this isn't like a chapter book that you would sit and read, but it is got color pictures and just different illustrations. So it kind of, trying to give the best overview of this without. Um, it kind of has just random things, uh, random knowledge, um, how to skip stones about the moon, astronomy, and then it has making a paper hat, boat, water bomb, uh, making a battery, how to play stickball, about fossils, building a tree house, just stuff that boys would likely be into um and it's just it's just a fun book how to tie these knots think of it like a kind of like a boy scout book that's what it reminds me of navajo code talkers dictionary about wars and battles cards it's just cool so he really likes this book he jumped into this one one. And I think there's a series on Amazon, The Danish Book of Boys. We haven't watched it yet. It's been on the list. If you've seen it, comment below and let me know if you liked it. You food crumbs. All right. Um, Sitting Like a Saint, Catholic, Mindfulness for Kids. I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to get this book, but my sister got it for her daughter and she loved it. So I was like, well, they're close in age. She'll like it. So it has these saints. And then it goes into prayers and you know saints are you know people you can look up to that uh, you know they're siblings in the family of God and um, just things you can learn from them from how they lived lives devoted to God and how they prayed and and trusted God and it's just beautiful I love the illustrations in this book so much My husband's patron Saint, St. Christopher, and so I really thought that Everett might like this little picture book. This is, um, I love that, this is another book that I love the illustrations. Look how beautiful that is. So it's just a quick read, but um, I know he likes learning about St. Christopher because that's his daddy's patron saint. So those are the books that Everett, my eight-year-old uh, second grader, will be reading this year. Quick look at these. And these will all be linked below in the description box. So you can check them out on Amazon if you like, or if you want to write them down, to go check them out from the library. All right. I hope you have a great day, and I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.